Hey, how's it going? My name is Dylan, and today I'm going to be talking about the Ramones Record Store Day 2022 box set. Um, the Sire albums, 1981 through 1989. Um, so yeah, these, uh, these are the less popular Ramones albums, um, but they're some of my favorite. The, the Richie albums are some of my favorite Ramones stuff. Um, so on, in this box set, you get Pleasant Dreams, Marky Ramone on drums, Subterranean Jungle, um, the last album with Marky on drums from his first stint with the Ramones, Too Tough to Die, my fa probably my favorite Ramones album, uh, first Richie record. I love this record. Um, so let me say, I do have original or older pressings of most of these albums. Um, so I don't know exactly why I got this box set. Um, the price was pretty reasonable. So t about two years ago, two or three years ago at the start of the pandemic, um, I decided I wanted to get the complete Ramones discography on a vinyl. Um, for some reason, despite the cost, uh, the Ramones are one of my favorite bands, so obviously that's a contributing factor to that. Um, but I wish this box set came out three years ago so I wouldn't have paid twice as much as I would have getting this uh, to collect the older uh, stuff because these aren't very common albums uh, compared to stuff like Rocket to Russia and the self-titled album and stuff. Um, so yeah, the, the box set retails for retailed for $150 and you get six full-length albums um, and a kind of rarities, b-sides, demos uh, collection. So in total seven seven records in the box set so if you count all seven they're 21 bucks a pop if you just count the, the studio albums it's 25 dollars a pop um so for comparison something like like this this is a like a european like i think bigger beggar's banquet uh version of too tough to die this costs like 50 dollars ish shipped which isn't Horrible. I mean, that's pretty expensive for me, um, and I was happy to get it. But I mean, compared 21 bucks, it th this sounds exactly the same as this. Um, and then obviously, it hasn't gotten 20 years of play, or whatever, 20, 30 years of play. Um, and I don't have any way to really deep clean records. And I don't want to spend hundreds of dollars on some ultrasonic cleaning shit or something. So these don't sound perfect. There's a bit of surface noise and stuff. Um, so I'm really happy that this came out. Um, and I have clean, basically, versions of these records. Um, so yeah, Too Tough to Die. Something that I'm really happy with about this box set is it's a one-to-one -one recreation of the packaging um, from the original stuff which certain things it's not hard to recreate I mean this the sire center labels on the records is standard um, but as far as the sleeves um, some of mine are slightly different because they're imports so they're not the sire version like this is a tell deck version of too tough to die um, but the the inner sleeves on all of them have the um, the lyrics and the liner notes on them that's exactly the same on every single one of these they have a one-to-one -one copy of the inner sleeve from the original so that's really cool I'm happy about that um, something I'm slightly disappointed in is uh, only the rarities LP has like a, a pretty nice inner sleeve for the record it has like the rice paper shit you know, like that that lining in it. Um, so there are some like paper flakes on um, the rest of the records when you take them out of the box. Not a huge deal though, but a minor annoyance. 
Um, so yeah. Let me see. So there's Too Tough to Die. There's my old one. See, I'm a little obsessive about shit like this. Like, someone had a sticker on this thing that they pulled off, and it took the, the hole out of the R. That's been annoying me. And now, I got a clean copy. The R is intact. I'm fucking thrilled. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm kind of all over the place here. Um, and then other, other little minor things like, um, just general condition of the jacket. Here's Animal Boy. Um, not my favorite Ramones album, but I like a lot of stuff on here. Um, somebody put something in my drink. Um, She Belongs to Me. I love She Belongs to Me. My favorite, uh, poppy Ramones song. Uh, Bonzo. Something to Believe In. Those are my favorite songs of this record. My old copy. So, something I do notice, um, like a minor thing. I don't know if it's to do with how they recreated or scanned these or where they sourced the material from. The art on the sleeve seems a little darker. I don't know if it's because the old ones are like the glossy and these are kind of more of a matte. It's hard to see, but that kind of pops a little more, you know? You can see a little more detail. This is kind of flat. Not a big deal, uh, but minor thing again. Let's see what else. So the subterranean jungle one is the... I have three copies of this now. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I have like some Canadian original pressing. I have a bootleg from that came out this year, a, a counterfeit. Um, and then I have this one. This one actually looks really similar to the counterfeit as far as the art goes. Cause it's kind of, like I said, it's those muted, um, not really muted colors, but it's kind of dull, you know? Like, it's like very matte coloring. Um, but anyway, another favorite of mine, um, Halfway to Sanity. This is the last Richie record. Uh, awesome songs on this album. I Wanna Live, I don't know how that's not considered a classic Ramon song. Um, by more people, but I definitely consider it a classic Ramon song. Um, it sounds... There's a lot of stuff on this album, in, in all the Richie albums that sound different than anything else uh, the Ramones ever did. This is um, when I think Daniel Ray started to play uh, lead guitar parts on the records, um, and this album is definitely pretty lead guitar heavy. Uh, compared to most of the Ramon stuff. Uh, like I said, I want to live that... The main hook of that song to me is the the lead guitar. Um, Garden of Serenity has a similar kind of... Uh, you know? There's that little... It's pretty simple, but it's like a real earworm lead guitar part. Um, so I, lo I love the Richie albums, especially... Too Tough to Die and Halfway to Sanity. And then we got the last uh, rec uh, full length album in this box set uh, Brain Drain, which is another one I'm happy to have because my old, my copy that I have, this is another, uh, it's from Chrysalis, so it's European. I don't know where in Europe exactly. But, so again, like OCD shit, like the jacket's kind of wore out, see, the spine, and then it's, it looks like it's kind of like sun bleached, like I hold these up next to each other, and this one is definitely more poppy red, so I'm happy to have that, and with a, a Sire center label instead of a Chrysalis one, even though I like their little butterfly thing they got going on. Um, but yeah, the, um, minor differences aside, the albums all sound basically the same. Uh, I remember I read something, some, uh, 
Facebook post or something from Ed Stasium who did uh, he was the the Ramones probably their longest tenured producer uh, and he was talking up about how the albums were remastered and stuff I didn't notice a whole lot of difference in sound I'm not an audiophile by any means or anything so I'm not the person who would be the authority on that kind of thing but uh, they sound just as good as my old copies of these, you know, like I said, they're in a, they're not used, so they're in slightly better condition too. Um, so they have that going for them as well. Um, the one album I kind of notice a slight difference on, and it's only in the drums a little bit, is "Too Tough to Die." Uh, the the drums sound a little bit like they cut through a little bit more. Not a lot though. And that might even be like a placebo thing just because I was expecting some sonic difference because of what I heard leading up to getting this. Um, Alright, last thing in the set, like I was saying, is this rarities kind of thing. So, from what I know, most of these songs are available like elsewhere. They're not super rare or anything. I think like one or two of them are previously unreleased, whatever that's supposed to mean though. Um, but most, like a few of them are off like singles and stuff like that. I know, I've heard Smash You before. That's on here. That was on um, the Howling at the Moon single, I think. But regardless of whether these are available or not previously or anything, it's nice to have them all in one place. You know, not everybody has fucking $30 to spend importing a three-song single from Europe to the USA. Um, and then the convenience of having them all on one uh, one record instead of five or six or however many, um, I think it, there's a lot of value in that. Um, so all the records in this uh, box set are just black, uh, black vinyl. The only one that's not is the Rarities compilation. It's pretty cool. It's clear, and then it's got the black and hot pink splatter. I don't know why the cover is orange, and then this is pink. They should have made this, like, pink or something, but whatever. This looks really cool. Um, so I like that. It would have been cool if maybe they did something different. Uh, they do this kind of splatter with each record, but make it, like... A different color from the cover art or something like they could have a they could have like yellow or red yellow and red from pleasant dreams for example since those are the main colors on that cover art but overall I'm really happy with this box set uh, as the only thing I got for record store day that seems to be a common thing theme for me record store day I just get the Ramon shit um, so stuff I hope for in the future, if anyone in charge of the Ramones estate is watching this video by chance, highly doubtful. Um, Adios Amigos, Mondo Bizarro, uh, and then Loco Live, and We're Out of Here. I would like those to get uh, reissued in some form. I don't know, maybe you can do a 90s uh, box set for next year's record store day. That would be very cool. I only have, um, I have an old local live European uh, Chrysalis version, but it's all crammed on the one record and it doesn't sound great. Uh, and then I have bootlegs of Mondo and Adios Amigos. You could also do uh, Acid Eaters if you want. But um, yeah, I would really like something like that uh, for the CJ era of the band. Because I, I really like that stuff too. I really like Adios Amigos. Um, and Loco Live is my favorite live album by any band. So, Linda. Uh, fucking uh, Mickey Lay. If you're watching this video, you should do that if you want to make some more money. Um, but anyway, this has been my discombobulated review of the Ramones box set for Record Store Day 2022. Thanks for watching, uh, and have a good one, guys. See ya. Rock on. Fuck yeah.